Brothers and sisters, Father Frank Pavone here, Director of Priests for Life. Uh, thanks for watching my Daily Diary segment, which for today, I'm going to tell you about Tuesday, September 14th and Wednesday, September 15th of 2021. Great days. Washington, D.C. is where I was on the 14th of September. And it, the day started with some solid networking with great Catholic people from around the country at the National Catholic Prayer Breakfast. Now, the doors open at 6 a.m. for that event, that prayer, that prayer breakfast event. So I got there at about quarter after five, and it was the first one there, networked uh, as people came in to start setting up their booths and their, their exhibit tables and as individuals started to arrive uh, right up until seven o'clock I was interacting with meeting greeting and uh, networking with the participants in that event then at seven o'clock went in as the proceedings began sat down for the breakfast and the speeches it was really nice and the prayers of course beautiful event uh, seven to nine at nine o'clock I uh, had a phone call with some leaders in Texas in regard to the heartbeat bill uh, Texas right to life and then uh, uh, after that phone call at 9.15, I met with our vice chairman who joined me there in Washington for a series of meetings. So we had an extensive morning meeting going over a lot of different things, uh, including, uh, it, it's sad that we have to do this, but including some bishops that we have to report to the Pope for abusive uh, behavior, uh, to, abusive behavior towards our ministry, that is. And then uh, we uh, started a round of meetings in town. We went to see uh, Gary Bauer. Gary Bauer, uh, the head of American Values. Uh, Gary is uh, a 2000, uh, year 2000 uh, presidential candidate and just a, a great conservative leader. Uh, we uh, had a good substantial meeting with him about our collaboration. Let's see, I'm getting my list here what the other meetings were. Then we came back, uh, uh, he's out in um, Arlington. Then we came back into the city, into DC, and we had a meeting with uh, one of the uh, on-camera anchors of Newsmax, with which we have a great relationship. We do a lot of media with them. And then after that meeting, we headed over to the United States Senate and met with Senator Rand Paul, again, a great advocate for pro-life and for America generally. He's doing great work on many issues. Uh, after that, uh, we concluded the day. I went back to my hotel room, did a couple of emails uh, and uh, staff phone calls, and then went to bed early because then the next morning I had to get up very early and catch a flight back to Orlando. I worked on the plane uh, with, uh, uh, again, approving various documents, reading Supreme Court briefs, responding to emails, and um, uh, arrived in uh, Orlando in the late, uh, late mid-morning, uh, got my car, which was at the Orlando airport, drove myself back to headquarters, and on that 40-minute drive, I had uh, three phone meetings with different staff people going over particular work and projects. Got back to headquarters, had a quick lunch, had a meeting with our executive director and with Kevin Burke, our pastoral associate, uh, oh, co-founder of Rachel's Vineyard and an expert on men and abortion, and we were talking about various pro projects. That was a one o'clock meeting at a 1.30. Uh, Janet, our executive director, and I met with our associate director, Father Dennis Wild, for another extensive meeting about many upcoming things. Then I went back to, uh, well, no, then right after that, uh, we had a two o'clock all staff meeting. So we had the entire pastoral team, the entire staff, and in this meeting we go over updates on various projects, um, including Silent No More, Rachel's Vineyard. I gave the whole team an update on my recent travels. And then um, when that was finished, I got in the car, I had a chiropractor appointment, but on my way there, I got went there early, and then before going in, I had a radio interview with Sebastian Gorka, uh, a great, another great voice for our country, uh, was an advisor to President Donald Trump and has a great, uh, not only a great radio program, but uh, also a great program on Newsmax. So I did my interview with him. I went in, I had my chiropractor appointment. Everything went well with that. Came back to the uh, Priest for Life office and then did a half hour taping in the TV studio 
uh, for one of our Praying for America programs on Right Side Broadcasting Network. And that uh, concluded the main work of the day. I had a quick dinner here and then did my uh, uh, end of day emails and went to bed uh, early. So that was Tuesday, September 14th and Wednesday, September 15th of 2021. Thanks so much for watching these Daily Diary segments.